Hello and greetings. This is Brother Minister again. That's right. There's nothing wrong with your video and there's nothing wrong with your computer. What you are seeing and hearing is for real. Don't worry about what it looks like. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Let me ask you a question. Do you like to take tests? I mean, do you look forward to taking tests? Are you uh, full of anticipation of taking tests or full of excitement? Well, if you are, then you may be in the minority. <laughs> but I have something to show you today in the Word of God that you may test spirits, that you may test, that you will not be deceived, okay? And the title of this video today is Don't Believe Just Anybody. Who are you going to believe? Don't just trust anybody and don't just take anybody's word about concerning your eternal soul. My friends, regardless of what faith you're in, what religion, what denomination, you only have one soul. <laughs> if you like to play Russian roulette with yours, that's your business. But me, I'm going to trust in the word of God. Okay, 1 John chapter 4. And the Apostle John is elucidating how you can test the spirits. You know what? It may be someone out there right now looking at this video, and you may be wondering, am I in a true religion? Am I serving the one and only true God? You know what? This chapter right here, above many, along with many other chapters in the New Testament, will, will elucidate to you if you are. Don't just believe anybody. <laughs> First John chapter 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Don't just believe everybody. Anyone. Don't just believe everybody, okay? Don't believe everyone who preaches, teaches about your faith, about your religion, about your God, about your salvation, about your eternal life. Don't just believe anybody. Wow. Okay. But try the spirits. Try the spirits whether they are of God. Why? Why, brother minister? Why? Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Many. And where it says many right there, it means many, 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 many. It is innumerable. It is vast. There are so many false prophets, false teachers, false religions, false churches, false Christ, false apostles, false deacons, false ministers, false pastors, false evangelists, so, 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 so many. That's why, don't believe just anybody. <laughs> wow. Hereby, know we the Spirit of God. This is how we know the Spirit of God. What I'm about to tell you right now, every spirit, every teacher, every preacher, every priest, every rabbi, every imam, every evangelist, every apostle, every deacon, every bishop, every soul, every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. What do you mean by that? Every spirit that confesses the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, virgin born, sinless, he was the Messiah, he's died on the cross for atonement of our sins, the sins of the whole world. Three days later, he was risen by the glory of God and he is on the right hand of the Father. He's coming back to rule and reign, set up his kingdom and rule and righteousness and glory and power. If you believe and you have confessed to Jesus Christ, Yeshua, oh yeah, I better say Yeshua because there are some of you people out there that if I don't say Yeshua, you won't have anything to do with this. You won't even listen to it. But make it known. I'm speaking about Jesus Christ, the Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Okay? And in this video, I'm going to tell you some things that you may have never heard before. And if you are in some cult or occult, I'm going to call just a few of them out today on this video. And if you are related or involved in these, you are in a false 
religion and a false church and you are on your way to hell. That's right. Because it's not by brother minister's standards, it is by the standard of the word of God. Okay? Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. If your teachers are, 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 are confessing Christ that he was God in human flesh, he came, he walked this earth and lived a sinless life, and he atoned for our sins, and he died on the cross, and he was raised by the glory of God three days later, and he's coming back. He's right now on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us, and we have to go through him by faith, not by our works. We trust in him. We're saved by faith, faith, and grace, and by faith through the Lord Jesus Christ. Are they teaching that? If not, they are not of God. Okay? Don't just believe anybody. And every spirit that confesses not Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Every spirit. Okay? I know there's some of you out there, you confess that, yeah, we know Jesus Christ lived, okay? But you don't believe that he died for an atonement for the sins, a propitiation of our sins and for the world. You don't believe that he was sinless. You don't teach that he rose from the dead. You don't teach that he was God incarnate. You don't teach that he was the son of God. You, my friend, are false. Your teachings are false. They do not line up with the Holy Scriptures or the apostles, the, the epistles from the Holy Apostles. So that makes your teachings false. Okay? It doesn't matter how nice these people are. You may say, but brother minister, this man is so nice. Or this woman is so nice. They'll give you the shirt off their back. They're still false. Oh, these people are so friendly. So much love. They're so sincere. They're so kind. They're still false. Or oh, these people pay my bills. Or they provide somewhere for me to live. They're still false. Okay? It does not matter. If they do not. Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. It does not matter how much you like them. It does not matter how well they are established. It does not matter how many degrees they have hanging on their plaques on their walls. It does not matter. They are false. You cannot afford to be deceived if you're one and only eternal soul. Don't just believe anybody. Every spirit that confesses not Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. Okay? Anti means you either against the Christ or you have something in place or instead of the Christ. You are false. You are either completely against the Word of God, against Christ, against the Holy Spirit, or you have something instead of, like some kind of cosmic energy or creative intelligence or mm, some type of evolutionary reincarnation some type of cosmos it's false it is false it is false it is false don't just believe anybody you know what it is the spirit of the antichrist well have you heard it should come and even now it is already in the world it was in the world during apostle john's time it was in the world, and it is in the world right now, working very, very vigorously to build up Satan's kingdom. You know what? I gotta, I'm got. i running out of time. You need to come to the next video because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to call out some names. That's right. Listen, your group may be in one of these videos. If it is, it's false. This brother minister. I got to go. Come to the next video. Hurry. Press the button. I'm waiting for you. Come, come.